I'm still, I'm still doing a lot of, of commentary uh, of British football and European football now, uh, which I enjoy. But I also do coaching. Uh, I have own little soccer school that I, I take for, for young children. Uh, but I'm trying to, to get started and, and get into the professional game uh, and, and go back into it. Uh, I'm going to do a, a license when I go back from the, 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 the coaching from Ipso and uh, get the A license done uh, to go and possibly, hopefully, go and manage somewhere. I played football uh, and I played at the highest level till I was 33. Uh, I retired at 36. Uh, I wanted a rest because for 12 years uh, it was 12 months. So I have three weeks holiday every year. So my body needed a rest. Uh, so I took a rest from football and went into to coaching children to understand uh, the grassroots side of, of the game. Uh, and, it, and it helps you progress to understanding the professional game. But the professional game always moves, it never stands still. Uh, the coaching from 20 years ago is different from the coaching of today. So you've got to keep up to date with it on a regular basis. In England we have a good scouting set up around football clubs at the top it doesn't always happen. Uh, there are some teams in uh, League One uh, that don't have scouts in place. They have to rely on friends watching football. So for, for the programme of, of learning to scout uh, can help you develop uh, a lot of more of your football knowledge that you already have. Attention to detail that you get from it helps you look at certain things. And if you are a, an assistant manager or a coach, uh, when you have to write a team report, you can actually write it properly uh, and understand it better uh, because of the, the coaching that you've got from a scout.